the curse you. So all what we notice here, we are jumping like monkeys from place to place to place. Muhammad, he say things doesn't make sense. He copied from Omar the Quran. He changed the direction of a prayer because of Omar. He for he, he ordered women to do hijab because of Omar. And now he is coming with the most silly, in, in a, a crazy stuff that women, if they block hair from their face, Allah will curse them. What about why he didn't say? Why he did not say Allah curse the man who take hair from his face? Why he did not say Allah will do this to a man who do that to his face? He did not say that. Why? There's many other narrations that apply to both. Like he said, uh, may Allah curse the tattooer and the tattooed, the one who. Uh, this is in front of you. This is all of them. I can show you all of them. They are the same. It's about the women. When we talk about taking hair from the face, your prophet he take hair, your prophet he color his hair, your prophet forbid the Muslims from coloring the, their hair black. Why, by the way, why you cannot carry color your hair black? I mean, even, even uh, yeah, he said not black, but even even a woman she can color her. Hair if you, if you, why why black? Why black? Why black is haram? What the problem? Um, isn't it isn't it God who created us with the black hair usually? I mean, what the problem? Those are Arab. Their hair is not a blonde. So why well, yeah, I cannot... yeah, the black. Yeah, the reason black was because you're deceiving people of your age. Um, because generally people do uh, color no, their hair black. No, no, He ordered them to make it red. Of course, in that way, you're not deceiving them. What do you mean you are not deceiving them? You are changing the color anyway. <laughs> because you're showing, because you generally, uh, you color it if you got white hair. My friend, your prophet, he saw a man, he have a gray hair. He said to him, color, color your hair. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so you are deceiving anyway. Leave him gray. Allah made you gray. So why you want to don't make it, a why, why you don't keep it a gray? No, people will know that this person had gray hair. So okay. That's why he colored it. No, if he did no, it, no, no, if no, he no, did no, 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 hold on. You are saying to me we should not change the way Allah He made us. Okay, if, is is having a gray, if is having a gray hair, is it the way it should be? Why you need to change it? So Allah decides what is changing and what is not. Like what, no, my what friend, is changing you, you're a prophet. He forbid them from doing that using a black color because the Jews they used to do to to color with the black color. That's all. That's it. Just because the Jews, they used to color their hair with the black. So he said to them, don't color it black. So color it anything. Anyway, you are changing the color. So look at this prophet. He come with rules and he claimed that those are from Allah. But if you think about it, if you have a little brain, what Allah business to make you, to make to be to be upset for Allah if you have a black hair color, but if he is not upset, if you make it red. Yeah, so he decides what web is changing. I think it's been two hours. Uh, yeah, I think your show is about to finish anyway. So what do you mean? He is, he's ordering to, uh, he, he, if you don't want them to change, he should say to them, don't make it, don't change it, don't color it. As you see, a man, he came to him and he said to him, look, your hair is, is, is white. Cover it, cover it, man. In different hadith, even your prophet, he says, so the, so your wife, she will like you. <laughs> anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. And say hello to your, to your sheikh. Maybe he can call us sometime if you have time, all right? All right. Okay, take care. As you see, I mean, this is a crazy... A woman, she color her hair, Allah curse her. A man, he should color his hair. Muhammad, he don't like to see you with the, with the white hair. Why? This guy, Muhammad, he come with the most crazy stuff. What this is about? He do waxing, he take hair from his body, he color his hair, he wanna be he, he wanna be blondie. But women they take hair from their face, he is upset. 
and even you want to color your hair don't make it black why because the Jews they make it black Muhammad always he avoid getting busted by the Jews the Jews are a problem for him He changed his rules in the speed of light and always he feel guilty because everybody knows that he is a thief and he is stealing from the Jews and others from the Christians from the Sabian the message of Allah used to stand up for a funeral enter the crops was placed in the grave a learned Jews once passed by him and said this is how we do it <laughs> What the Jew he said, this is how we do it. Okay, the Jew he said, this is how we do it. What Muhammad respond? Sit down, sit down, act differently. Well, if this is, we heard this uh, gentleman here, he said uh, everything Muhammad, he said is inspiration from Allah. Okay, so Allah, when, when, when the Prophet was standing for the funeral in the prayer, is that a prayer Allah taught him? Or this is a prayer he was making up? The Muslim will say, no, this is from Allah. Okay, how do you change it in a second? You know what I mean, guys? If Allah is the one who taught Muhammad how to pray, a guy, he walk by, he is a rabbi, he is a Jew, he say, hey, Muhammad, this is how we do it. So why you change it? Muhammad, right away, he felt guilty, and he felt, oh, oh they got me busted. This is how they do it. And now people, they... We say he copied the Jews, and maybe even the rabbi he is maybe he's laughing, maybe he's making fun of him, maybe he's saying this is how we do it, but he don't, but this is not how they do it. So Muhammad immediately he changed the way to pray, and this is proven to us that Muhammad is not from God. Like he did not wait a day or two days after that, and then uh, Jibril came to him and he say, Muhammad, don't pray like this anymore because this is how they do it. In the spot immediately the guy he just finished saying this is how we do it Muhammad he said sit down sit down act differently if Muhammad a prophet of God he says so what this is how they do it good for you you are a Jew I follow the same God perfect correct guys Muhammad he claimed that he is a he is the same as the prophet of Israel. He claimed that he is following Abraham. He claimed that he is the same as Moses. So why you want to act differently? Say, okay, we are from the same God, this is the same religion at the end of the day. But because he is a fake man, because he's a con. And he is a false prophet he right away he changed the way the prayer is and he said to them sit down so obviously Muhammad he fabricate rules and fabricate reasons the reason don't color your hair black because the Jews colored black the reason not to pray in Friday but to pray, uh, sorry and not on Saturday because the Jews pray on Saturday the reason not to do it in Sunday because the Christian do it in Sunday, so he chose the Friday. It's just to act differently. And even the hadith mentioned that. The reason they have Adhan, why they have Adhan, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, because, because uh, for the, 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 the campaign, they said to him, what about we use the bill, the same as the Christian? He said, no, the Christian do that. They said to him, what about we use a fire, the same as the Sabian? He said, no, we cannot do it the same as the Sabian. And then one, he suggests that to do Adhan, and he liked the idea. This is not from God. If my God, he said to me, this is how you pray, you don't change it because somebody says this is how we do it.
all the rituals all the fabrication all the fabric of, of, of Islam is either a copy from the pagan Arab before Islam the Jews the Nasara not the Christians the Nasara the false cult Christian cult and the Sabian and then he starts learning from Salman al Farisi, which is a Zaradesh, he is a Persian. And Salman al Farisi, he taught him about the Hur, he taught him about a Sirat, the bridge, he taught him about, uh, you know, uh, the reward of women, white women, who they are extremely white. All those stories coming from the Zaradesh, you know, uh, uh, religion. If this is not enough to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet, what is enough? Right? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. And I hope the Muslims, they will listen carefully. Feel free to download the video. My videos don't stay long, especially the ones I prefer to take them down because I want them to spread around so if you like our videos please download them share them in your channel have fun with them do whatever you wish uh, but don't claim that they are yours <laughs> which means don't claim that you are Christian friends uh, my friends the Lord the Messiah he said that from their fruits you shall know them and the Bible speak that those who follow the devil they speak foolishness wisdom is from the wise Lord and there's no wisdom in God cursing a woman for taking hair from her face God he created women to be a woman to be a female and then he says I'm going to curse you for taking hair from your face and then he says the man he can take care of from his face is it okay it's all right for a man to do circumcision which is a change in the creation of Allah supposedly but a woman she cannot take care of from her face Islam always discriminate women and women are always the weak human in this religion for Muhammad do not need women he need men who carry sword and kill this is why he cursed women. He claimed women are they they come in the image of the devil and they live in the image of the devil. He never respected them. Even Muhammad he claimed that because of Eve, Adam betrayed. Eve betrayed her husband, Adam. With this, I want to say thank you for being here. And until we see you, I will try to be here tomorrow too. I wish. Let us see. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord.